Right. Stacy, I'm turning 40. You know, turning 40 was actually kind of fun. Are you sure? I'm all like, I don't want to turn 40. No, because ah! you know what? My name is Cobelia and I'm turning 40, so I'm doing a turning 40 vlog series and I'm inviting different people in my life, family, friends, people I love who've already turned 40 to say, okay, don't freak out, it's going to be awesome and the best is yet to come. So one of those friends is Stacy. Hey. And her beautiful daughter Shayna's here. What, what? With my beautiful okay. daughter Allison. <laughs> <laughs> When I turned 40, which was, you know, not last year by any means, it was a couple years ago. A couple years ago. A couple years We're not ago. disclosing other people's ages unless they want to. Um, it was... Only yeah. mine. Yeah. It was less than 10 and more than one. Let's just say there you that. Go. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, I didn't freak out about 30 or 40. It just, those decades when you read about being so traumatic for people didn't hit me hard. And 40 was another number. And I was at a point in my life where I had four kids that were between the ages of 9 Here's and 12. <laughs> so 40, you had four kids. Eight. Were you still in Puerto Rico? I was still in Puerto Rico, yeah, because I've been here for two years now in Texas. So yeah, 40 was in Puerto Rico. Over the, the year since I did turn 40, um, I feel like I kind of found myself, grown into my skin, come into my own, however you want to say it. And I kind of finally feel like grown up. Does Finally at 40. I kind of almost feel grown up. I feel yeah. like I bought my first pointy toed shoes. Yay! <laughs> I'm like pointy toed shoes. There you go. <laughs> um, I went back to work after 40, um, after being home with my kids for 14 years. Yeah. And um, they turned out pretty cool. And they turned out pretty cool. I'm pretty <laughs> proud of them. Um, I just kind of started feeling like, hey, I'm a person again, you know, because mm -hmm. when your kids are little, little and they need you and they, right. you know, you are defined and people knew <laughs> me as the mom who had all those little kids because I had four kids in a three year period and that was what I was known as. And, and you were I, homeschooling and them. And I homeschooled them. So I was known as the homeschooling mom of all the little kids. Remember when <laughs> and they called us the mom that I clan? Yes. The oh, mom the Maldonado clan. And you still um, kind of are. Yeah, yeah, we still kind of are. Just um, bigger, just said. older now, yeah. older, yeah, and more scattered because <laughs> the teenagers want to yeah, do right. their thing on their own. So we go out less of us at a time sometimes now. And it makes sense that you'd have a little more time, right? Less demands so, from the kids, right. more time to be you, and kind of find out who I am again outside of being mom, right? You know, yes, I am wife. Yes, I am partner. Yes, yeah. I am friend. But when your kids are little like I had in my <laughs> late 20s and 30s she's like but I still here. greatly enjoyed and would not have changed <laughs> anything about being home with my kids when they were little right but it does kind of become the definition mm -hmm. of who you are right which is great and I think it's it's good and it's meant to be that way to an extent because we pour ourselves into our children right but then the joy of getting a little bit older is that they're getting older you can see, you can see the young adults that they're becoming. You can begin to see some of the, the fruits of that, heart. You know that all the sewing and yeah. sewing and all of yeah. that that you've done, and you can enjoy them more. Kind of see them begin to blossom and do things, become more independent. They don't need you know they don't need me as much. Which no, um, well not in the same ways. Right? They She's like I'm gonna go to sleep I, now. <laughs> I actually fell asleep for a while on the couch. So. Just now? No. <laughs> Just now. Oh, I thought you were here. Oh. But yeah, they begin doing their thing, so I can kind of be like, hey, I remember when I used to like to do this, or I used right. to like to do that, and maybe I could pick that up again, you nice. know? And um, begin to explore some of those old hobbies, begin to explore new hobbies. And I think um, time-wise or age-wise, we kind of have a similar kid experience because I had my kids later mm -hmm. and like they're gonna be teenagers in my 40s right so I'm gonna start seeing that in yeah. a few years yeah I still have six-year-old and ten-year-old mm -hmm. but um yeah in, in a matter of like five years it's gonna change dramatically mm -hmm. she's gonna look more like Shayna yeah is she though mama are you gonna look like Shayna <laughs> <laughs> Shayna's like hurt she's 
She's hurt. Flips table. <laughs> Not like your face. Like face. It's going to be, be your face. Yours. You'll be right. right. You'll be more similar in your <laughs> size Aside and from. tastes yeah. and preferences. Where's she going? <laughs> showing the size. Oh, the this size. Yeah, so you're going to go from so that gonna, to that. You'll be, yeah. That's going to be, like be oh, there she is. <laughs> exactly. So I love it. There's so many things to look forward to. And I know for you, um, it's been amazing to see you guys move from Puerto Rico to Texas. So we were you all like, woo! Thank you, Lord, for keeping friends together. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> reuniting. Reuniting. After several years of not being next to each other. I know. Yes. It's been crazy. And then, like, here, it was kind of a transition in your 40s, mm-hmm. moving from everything you've known yeah, for so many for years. Yeah, 20-something years. Exacto. Um, you know, finding a new place, finding a new church, mm-hmm. figuring out new schools for the kids. Yes. and home fi- 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 Figuring out, like... Homeschooling, public schooling, what are we right, going to do? Whatever we're going to do, so exactly. I think that transition period was kind of rough. I think moving always oh, is definitely. for a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. But now, this these past few months, really, um, you look amazing. Like, <laughs> it's like the 40s are like your decade. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Like, when I thought of doing the whole Turning 40 vlog, I'm thinking of women that I look up to and admire that I've already crossed over the 40 line. (laughs) But um, just seeing you make the choices that you're making for your health, like Mm -hmm. making healthy choices in what you're eating and how you're making fitness a priority and like walking and now, Mm -hmm. you know, with work, trying to figure that balance out, but still not giving up and keeping it going. Right. That's amazing. Thank you. Because I know I don't feel like I'm there yet. So it's like, oh, the 40s are not all downhill. It's like, no, you can actually be in better shape now than you were before. That's my goal. And I know that um, when I was young, it was like, you know, you can do whatever and not, it doesn't matter. And then as I got older and I had kids and my body (laughs) kind of just did. did. Tired tired kids. It became (laughs) where I looked in the mirror and didn't recognize myself. Mm-hmm. And um, it just clicked. I had um, gone to the doctor. I got that news that said, you know, listen, this is what you're looking at. If you want to live a life where you're dependent upon medications to keep yourself healthy, then wow. keep doing what you're doing. And if you want to live a life free of medications or, you know, at least to the best of your ability, then you might want to make some changes. And I was like, you wow. know, I am too young to be living a life based, you know, around what time I have to take medications and so it just something clicked in my head and in my heart and I was like okay well this is what I'm going to do I'm going to eat healthy I'm going to get some exercise every day mm-hmm. I'm you know I started like I started what yeah. February I think and so. we're now in June February mm-hmm. March April May June four months ago I started and the first day I said <laughs> I'm going to go walk and I'm going to walk for 30 minutes for 30 minutes I walked and I barely got one mile in I was in so much pain by the end of it because of my one, my weight, my whole issues mm-hmm. with my back and my hips that we don't have to go into, but I right. do have some spinal deformity um, where I'm crooked <laughs> is the best way to I put it. <laughs> I would never tell, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the extra weight didn't help, um, and I was like holding my back and trying you know just to get that one mile done and now I mean since I started work again last week I have not been walking because I'm leaving for work at 6 30 in the morning and getting home late tonight at 8 o'clock right um I'm still following my my food I'm being very careful with my food I've continued to lose weight I've lost 40 pounds in four months which is amazing Um, (laughs) it's incredible I've gone down in her 40s yes Yes, I've gone down two or three pant sizes, which I celebrated. By and the, new, the new ones you just the new bought ones I just are bought. big. Yeah, the, I bought new ones just t- two days ago, three days ago, <laughs> that were two sizes smaller than the ones that I had in my closet, and I wore them today, and they're, like, too big. It's incredible. By tonight. In so, four months. Like, the difference that um, you can make in that amount of time. And we all know food is 80% of it, so... Exactly. Yeah. If you're keeping that up, that's that's the important thing. So, and I think that that for that particular aspect of it is, you know, you just got to find what makes sense and works for you and can be something that you, like for me, it became, the changes I've made have become something I do without thinking about. So it's become a real lifestyle. And about six weeks after I started, um, my twins had their birthday. Yay! 
and I was like, you know what? Birthday. Wait, was that the roller skating ring? Yeah. It was the roller skating, and then we came back home, and we had foods that would not be considered healthy. Allison's like, let's go back. I we had um, <laughs> ice, and, and it was the first time in any part of my life where I had been on an active pursuit of getting healthy, mm-hmm. where I didn't say, oh, I cheated, and therefore I suck, and I can't do this, and just give up. Right. It was where I planned ahead, and I said, I'm going to eat mm-hmm. what I want to eat, I'm going to eat what I want to eat for this amount of time, and then I'm going to flip the switch and go back. Right. And it worked. That's amazing. That's like, that for That's me, huge. I still consider a miracle. <laughs> because my mentality has always been, oh, I'm horrible. I messed it up. I can't yeah. do it. I messed up. I'm a failure. Right. And this time it was, I've eaten healthy for six weeks. I'm going to choose to eat the birthday cake. I'm going to choose to have the ice cream. I'm going right. to choose to have the pizza, right. which I did. And I let it last for about a week that I kind of splurged for about a week. And then that next Monday, I was like, okay, that's it. Amazing. And it was fine. And Amazing. since then, I've not broken it. Yay. Not even... <laughs> now we're talking about food. Now, yeah, we have to eat Now that something. we're talking about birthday cake and pizza. Yeah, we haven't had dinner yet tonight, and it's quarter Oh, tonight. my gosh. It's what? 846, people. 846. Let's go it's, have dinner. Yes. We're, we're hungry. Taco Bell. Taco. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we can wrap up our Turning 40 vlog. I'm just really celebrating you, Stacey, because... Um, what you're doing, you know, the way that you've raised your kids, all of these things that I've seen, you know, your your journey through life. You're make me cry. No, don't cry. No, your journey and your friendship um, and your guidance and wisdom now um, and your example, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> are really helping me turn 40 now from something that I was like, I'm not telling anyone that I'm 40 because blah, 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 blah. I don't want to be 40 into you know what my 40s are gonna rock and they're going to rock they're gonna rock is that a bad thing can we do this (laughs) it looked like a llama (laughs) llama people llama (laughs) that was good i feel you're very passionate about llamas but i think our 40s are gonna be awesome thank you stacy for making them even more awesome oh i love you so much happy birthday month thank you (laughs) Perfect. Doesn't look like it's counting down or up. Ah, now I think it's counting. Now it's counting. Okay, ready? Right. Right. Here we go. What does that mean? Well, okay, then. Awesome. Let's Let's eight seconds in. Are you guys ready? Ready. Sure. Allison's like, I'm ready. What? This is our vlog sign. <laughs> this is our vlog gang oh, sign. Nice. It's like we're in the gang. Welcome to our vlog. Here we go. <laughs> This may or may not evolve into a spin-off series of the <laughs> Turning 40 vlog, but if it does, this is the first official episode. Exactly. And I'm so glad uh, you're watching. Everybody say hi. It looked like a llama. <laughs> <laughs> llama people, llama.